Know the lingo. Tropical storm watch. Tropical storm conditions with sustained winds from 39 to 74 miles per hour are possible in your area within the next 36 hours. Tropical storm warning. Tropical storm conditions are expected in your area within the next 24 hours. Hurricane watch. Hurricane conditions with sustained winds of 74 miles per hour or greater are possible in your area within the next 36 hours. This watch should trigger your family's disaster plan and protective measures should be initiated, especially those actions that require extra time such as securing a boat or and leaving a barrier island. Hurricane warning. Hurricane conditions are expected in your area within 24 hours. Once this warning has been issued, your family should be in the process of completing protective actions and deciding the safest location to be during the storm. Coastal flood watch. The possibility exists from the indignation of land areas along the coast within the next 12 to 36 hours. Coastal flooding war flood warning. Land areas along the coast are expected to become or have become indignated by seawater above the typical tide action. Small craft advisory. A small craft advisory is a type of warning issued by the National Weather Service, most frequently in coastal areas. It is issued when winds have reached or are expected to reach within 12 hours, a speed marginally less than that, which is considered gale force, usually 25 to 38 miles per hour. Hurricane stages. Tropical wave, a low pressure trough moving generally westward with a with the trade winds. Tropical disturbance, an organized area of thunderstorms that usually forms in the tropics. Typically, they maintain their identity for 24 hours and are accompanied with heavy rains and gusty winds. Tropical cyclone, a generic term for any organized low pressure that develops over tropical and sometimes subtropical waters. Tropical depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes are all examples of Tropical cyclones. Tropical depression, an organized area of low pressure in which sustain, sustained winds are 38 miles per hour or less. Tropical storm, a tropical cyclone with maximum sustained wind speeds that range from 39 to 73 miles per hour. Hurricane, a tropical cyclone with sustained winds of at least 74 miles per hour. Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. So here we have categories one, two, three, four, and five. So these are the type of categories that um, different kind of hurricane categories. So you have the minimum, which is category one, moderate, which is okay, not too bad, extensive, um, is getting pretty bad, extreme, and then you have catastrophic. Here we have the winds, mile per hour. We have the pressure um, in millibars and in inches, and then the storm surge feet. Hurricane safety tips. Before a hurricane, have a disaster plan and a pet plan ready. Before a storm threatens, contact your veterinarian or local humane society for information on preparing your pets for an emergency. Board up windows and bring in outdoor objects that could blow away. Make sure you have which county or parish you live in and know where all the evacuation routes are. Prepare a disaster supply kit for your home and car. Include a first aid kit, canned food and a can opener, bottled water, battery operated radio, flashlight, protective clothing, and written instructions on how to turn off electricity, gas, and water. Have an NOAA wet weather radio handy with plenty of batteries so you can listen to storm advisories. Have some cash handy as well because following a hurricane, banks and ATMs may be temporarily closed. Make sure your car is filled with gasoline. During a hurricane, stay away from low-lying and flood-prone areas. Always stay indoors during a hurricane because strong winds will blow things around. Heavy mobile homes and to go and to go to a shelter. I mean, leave, I'm sorry, leave mobile homes and to go to a shelter. If your home isn't on higher ground, go to a shelter. If emergency managers say to evacuate, then do so immediately. After a hurricane, Stay indoors until it is safe to come out. Check for injured or trapped people without putting yourself in danger. Watch out for flooding, which can happen after a hurricane. Do not attempt to drive in flooding water. Stay away from standing water. It may be 
electrically charged from underground or down power lines. Don't drink tap water until officials say it's safe to do so. So here we have a hurricane safety tips. We have the hurricane scales and the wind pressures. We have the hurricane stages. And then we have some lingo.